Oh, hi, folks. <laughs> Doc Santa here. Um, you know, something I've noticed. Um, uh, a while back, I went to see my doctor, and uh, he said that I had something called metabolic disease. In other words, I was getting way overweight, and it was affecting my health. And he said, uh, you know, why don't we try the carnivore diet? And you know what? That diet has been so effective for me. I've lost so much weight. I've lost 60 pounds. And I was I was fixing my my uh, stool here because it wasn't giving me the padding I needed. I think I'm gonna have to I think I'm gonna have to repad the sleigh seat. It's uh, it's a great thing to have to do. Um, some of my clothes, you know, Mrs. Claus got me this. Don't stop believing. I like this. This is wonderful. Um, but you know, it's funny. Um, there's a lot of things that happen when we start losing weight. And uh, I, I said that I was going to talk a little bit about bigger things for bigger folks. And uh, one of the things um, I wanted to let you know about was an experience that I had uh, on a on an airline um, coming from uh, coming back from Mexico when uh, Mrs. Claus and I uh, were having a little vacation. We came back, and it was crazy because they um, I offered to pay the difference between my seat and uh, one in first class, and they gave me every excuse under the sun, and. Um, but now I hear that a lot of these airlines are actually allowing you to buy two chair, buy two seats and they reimburse you for the other one. And I think that they're finally realizing that 40% of all the people in the United States anyway are obese. So that's a special area that they need to be able to take care of. Um, there was a gal down at one of the resorts down in the Caribbean. Um, I know this story, she was asking Pardon me. They were. She was asking for another chair to be on the on the deck um, where the pool was, and they said, "Oh no, no, we, you have to use one of these chairs." And she tried to sit on one of those chairs. She said she didn't want to, and the chair broke. She got hurt, and uh, they tried to bill her for the chair. And the owner, or not the owner, but the manager, he just saw that there was a trend here, and he was pretty smart, and he talked to some other uh, investors, and they looked on the island just next to it and there was a resort there that was going um, you know into receivership and they got it for a reasonable price and they have applied just for um, people who are bigger they've they've turned it into a resort just for for people that are bigger people and it makes it so that um, they, they knew those people wouldn't necessarily need to go out on excursions they just want to have a good time and uh, they made everything bigger, stronger, better, and uh, they have a lineup uh, a year long. Isn't that amazing? So people are finally starting to realize, hey, there's a market here. And uh, the, the quicker they start realizing that, the better, because there's a lot of airlines that are doing just that, where they're saying, wow, we should uh, make it a little uh, better for everybody. And I would like to just, you know, recommend some of those airlines. There's, I know Southwest and uh, Air Canada, uh, a number of them are starting to change and they're starting to realize that they need to truly cater to people's needs. And uh, so, you know, I think it's a positive thing for the future. Um, just remember, uh, if you like what you hear, please hit that like button. And uh, if you want to hear more, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, always remember, Santa says.